This is a rather odd video to do, but here we go. 17-year-old Royal Marines dropout, Marcus Sergeant, living at home, unemployed, could not find ammo for his dad's 45 caliber Webley revolver. And he was denied a gun license and was unable to get a real gun in any way. So he spent 67 pounds approximately for two mail-order blank-firing starter replicas of a Colt Python revolver and the blanks to go with it. American tourist George P. Ubel photographed the moment, which is why I'm mentioning it, this is the credit for the image, that Marcus fired six blank shots at Queen Elizabeth II. Marcus later said, I wanted to be famous, I wanted to be somebody. He, you've never heard of him, obviously, so this is a good story to tell why you don't do this. He was sentenced to five years in a psychiatric prison under the 1848 Treason Act for willfully discharging at, a pers at the person of Her Majesty the Queen with intent to alarm her. His appeal against this length of the sentence for it, because it was a little bit out of character for basically firing a blank gun, was denied due to showing an initial intent to kill her because he went out of his way to try to get a real gun, real ammunition, and get ammunition for the gun he had physical access to, his father's Webley 45. At the range he's pointing it at and positioning that you can see from the angle uh, and him actually having some training at a gun club and also prior to this, if he had fired six shots at her, she would have been dead. She might have been wearing body armor, but I don't know that. But um, if you check the angle, he wasn't necessarily aiming at her body. His appeal was denied because of that premeditation that was later changed only by circumstances. After three years of a five-year sentence, which I'm sure he still bitched about for some reason, he changed his name. He had written while in prison an apology letter that was never responded to. I don't think he deserved a response, and I'm glad that he didn't get one. Um, I find it abhorrent that he wasn't held for the full five years, period, full stop. Next. In Britain, it's almost unheard of at the time to have any shooting incidents, so it really bothered people when this sort of thing happened and it caused unrest. Next, this is the Queen's guard and such surrounding her, and they, they, they kept security very tight. What he walked in with is most likely, likely a zinc cast fake Colt Python. It's an oversized, comically large toy gun that fired blanks. Comment section content on anything on this subject is almost non-existent as far as anybody being in denial, but someone decided to say it's a setup, he's a patsy, you know, like people do in the United States, and said that it, the gun that he was handed, if you actually get a look at it, because there is there are videos and pictures I'm going to link to, is what's referred to as a side discharge or a top fire, which is not its real name. The top of the cylinder it's firing from produces a blast of gas up. It doesn't have a direct pathway for a bullet to go. Also, if you're not aware of it, the barrel itself is not lined up with the cylinder either. It's designed to be so difficult to convert to a real firing gun that it's better just to melt it down and make a gun out of it, which is what people actually do sometimes. Some of them will try to, quote, weld or solder the zinc that they're usually made out of, and that doesn't work very well either. So they're really just a blank starter pistol. I was thinking of buying one recently simply because they make a good noisemaker, but I since then decided to use uh, electronic means to produce the same sound. A recording of a gun going off can be played loud enough that it can actually compete easily with a firearm. If you're going to make a noisemaker, make one that never runs out of ammunition. Batteries. So, why am I doing the video? Well, it involves blank firing replica toy weapons and and such, and also involves an idiot. I'm not showing any picture of the guy. He's changed his name so he's not identifiable. He's trying to hide from his past. He's ashamed. He's not going on the talk show circuit. He hasn't written a, a tell-all book. People on YouTube keep listing this as an attempt at assassination and cover-up. So that will be in the title of the video. It's blatantly false information from the 1980s forward because in the 1980s, you could get reliable coverage in this, and, I mean, nobody in his family and himself, nobody, 
question whether or not it was a revolver that was a fake. And I guarantee you, if he'd fired a real gun, it wouldn't be the same situation. Also, people kept pointing out in the comment section, oh, they loaded blanks into a real gun. No, this is a blank-only gun. That's why it was available. This is Britain. Even back then, Britain was much more restricted than you might believe these days. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that. Um, because I saw misinformation being repeated very aggressively and angrily with all of the stereotypical crap in it in a couple of videos, I'm posting this video. If you'd like to contradict this, present facts. I don't have to let your comments show, but if I do, and you don't present information that's factual, I'll just be making fun of you in another video later. That's what you're into. Have at it. Thanks for watching. Bye.